हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक टॉपिक इज अ स्टार एंड स्टेयर केसेस इन अ मॉड्यूल नंबर फोर बिल्डिंग कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस ऑन व्हाट इज स्टेयर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस स्टेयर्स टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेयर मटेरियल यूज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्टेयर्स and uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages of the stair and uh, we seen the sum of photographs of the different types of stairs so first uh, we start what is stair so a stair is a system of a step by which people and objects may pass from one level to another level of a building is known as a stair and uh, a stair is to be designed to a large uh, large vertical distance by dividing into smaller vertical distance call a step so here generally we seen in a step we seen in a residential commercial industrial in all the areas we generally seen the stairs for a movement of one floor to another floor by easily uh, easily movement so here number of step is depend on a height of the one floor to another floor so if height is less so number of step is less and if height is a more so number of step is more and also the design of the steps or a stair is depend on uh, de- depends on area of a area given to the stair so if the area is less so we use the different uh, design of the stair like a uh, circular stair then after dog leg stair straight stair so it's a uh, depend on totally on area now we start a location of the stair so the stair should be suitably located in a building as it may it it any means of the communication between the floor so here generally uh, stair is located at the corner side and uh, located at these uh, at the side at which all the points are easily seen the stairs so the residential building the stair should be centrally located to provide easy access to the all rooms now in a public building stair should be located near the entrance like uh, in a public building like assembly hall so in a assembly hall stairs uh, should be provided in a entrance like after entrance stairs are provided in a both the side or a one side as per the requirement and as per the number of uh, people or a person get together in a hall now in a big building there should uh, there can be more than one stair so like uh, commercial complex so here two to three stairs are provided in a commercial complex like in a starting and end of the commercial complex and in between two to three stair are provided in a intermediate part now if there are more than two that should well uh, separated and uh, position so uh, so as to afford the easiest and quickest service possible to the people as a whole so here if we provide a intermediate steps in a like a commercial complex so any person is easily move or easily reach to a particular pay, place or a particular shop uh, within a few time now staircases should never be located around and or adjacent to elevator shaft without so solid wall between them and it is always advise, advisable to place the stair again the wall for economic economy of space and provision of a light and ventilation and easy of construction so here some of the technical term is given so one by one we discuss the technical term so first technical term is a baluster so it is the vertical member of a wood or a metal supporting the handrail is known as a baluster so see this figure so in this figure 
in this figure the vertical member of the wood or metal support so here a gray color a vertical line so the vertical member of a wood or metal who support the handrail is known as a bluster now next is a handrail so this include the rail over the st string is known as a handrail so handrail generally uh, required to support the person during the uh, climbing the stands now next is a naval post so this is the vertical member which is placed at the end of the flight to connect the handrail is known as a naval post so naval post is a vertical member it's always provide uh, provide in a starting and uh, end of the flights now next is a waist so what is waist so waist is the thickness of the structural slab case on a rcc stair is known as a waist so see this figure number two waist is seen so here uh, waist is uh, totally depend on a thickness of the rcc work now soffit so it is the underside of the stair is known as a soffit so generally uh, soffit is uh, provided in a flat uh, flat uh, area and uh, generally in a sloping form so now next is a nosing so nosing is a it is the projection part of the trade uh, beyond the face of the uh, riser it is rounded to given the good architecture effect now next is a scotia so it is the molding provided under the nosing to improve the elevation of the step is known as a scotia now next type is a steps so it is the portion of the stair which permit the ascent or a descent it is the uh, comprise of trade and rise so it is known as a step now next is a trade so what is tread tread is the upper horizontal portion of the step on which we place the foot is known as a tread so see this figure tread is uh, generally uh, made by the rcc work or uh, made by the marble or another stone we apply on the tread or uh, also uh, we apply the glass on the tread so here uh, also we apply the wooden so here different types of the material we use in a rise and a trade so rise next is a rise so what is rise rise is a vertical distance between the two successive trade phase is known as a rise so generally rise height is uh, we take a 20 centimeter so if uh, we take a more than 20 centimeter so it is difficult to use the stairs by the person now next is a going so going is a horizontal distance between the two successive uh, riser phase is known as a going now next is flight so a series of step without any platform or break or a landing is there direction is known as a flight now next is a landing so landing it is the level platform at the top or bottom of the flight between the floor is known as a landing now next is a run so it is the total length of the stair in a horizontal plan including the landing is known as a run headroom so it is the minimum clear vertical distance between the trade and selling is known as a headroom so headroom is generally we seen on a uh, ground floor to first floor if we provide uh, steps so here headroom is compulsory we check so if we if headroom uh, vertical height is less so it is difficult to the person for the movement now next is a pitch or slope so it is the angle at uh, angle at which the line of noising of uh, stair makes with the horizontal is known as a slope now next is rise so it is the vertical portion of the steps providing the 
providing a support to trade is known as a riser next is the line of noising so it is the imaginary line touching the each trade and is parallel to the slope of the stair is known as a line of noising and a vendor so these are the tapering step which are provided for changing the direction of the stair is known as a winder so winder is generally provided at the corner side or a change the direction of the steps now here some of the requirement of the good stair is given so here provide a easy and quick safe mode for a communication between the floor and uh, following are the some of the general requirement for the stairs so here uh, first we discuss on a uh, location so it it should be located as to provide easy access to the occupant building so its uh, stair is uh, located at the uh, single point at which all the person is seen easily and easy to access and uh, same distance for the all the points now it should be located that is well light and ventilated directly the exterior so generally we locate or fix the stair at the external wall so external window we got the light and air from the external window now it should be located uh, to have a uh, approach is convenient and uh, spacious so it's uh, easy for the movement for for all the person now width of the stair so it should be wide enough to carry the users without much crowd in convenience uh, depending upon the its location in a building and the uh, types of building we uh, we change the width of the stairs so like in a public building so number of public or a number of person is get together so here width of the stair is required much more as compared to residential building and as compared to commercial building so in a commercial building width of the stair is uh, wide enough as compared to uh, residential building and in a residential building generally 1.2 meter width of the stair is provided so it's a uh, easy for uh, users and uh, no much crowd uh, is uh, on a stair so in a domestic building so 90 cm wide stair in a sufficient while in a public building uh, 1.5 meter to 1.8 meter width may be required so these are the uh, general requirement of the building then after in a general requirement we apply the length of the flight so the number of step are more than 12 and not a less than uh, 12 so here after 12 uh, steps uh, flight is provided now next is a pitch of stair so a comfortable slope is achieved twice rise plus going is equal to 60 cm approx and uh, pitch should have uh, however be limited to 32 45 degree so here if we increase the angle like more than 45 degree it's a maximum 45 degree but if we increase the angle so it is difficult to movement of the person now next is a headroom so clear space between the tread and surface Uh, of the flight inter uh, immediately above it should be less than 2.1 to 2.3 meter so it's a uh, nearer or uh, look like a lintel level from the uh, flooring level to lintel level distance now balustrade so open well stair should always be provided with a balustrade it is uh, to provide safety to user now next is a step dimensions so the rise and tread should be such a dimension as to provide the comfort to user and the proportion should be also be such to provide pitch of the stair and the going should not be less than uh, the 25 cm through the 30 cm going is quite comfortable and the rise should be between the 10 cm to 15 cm and the width of the landing should not be less than the width of the stair so here dimension step is uh, 
generally uh, 25 centimeter is provided and uh, 30 centimeter is going is quite comfortable for the person now next is a material for a construction of the steps so material used for the stair construction should be such as to provide sufficient strength and a fire resistance so generally uh, we use the material in a uh, stair construction is a uh, tiles or uh, stone or uh, uh, in an industrial area we use the metals or uh, iron uh, stairs is generally we use and uh, in a residential area sometimes we use the wooden stair but wooden stair is uh, very dangerous uh, it is not a fire resistance material so it is uh, it is uh, difficult during the firing time now next is the types of step so here total seven types of this step is uh, we use the generally so first is a bull nose step second is a rounded end step third one is a fill, filler fourth one is a commode step fifth one is a dancing step and uh, sixth one is a split step and last one is a vendor type of steps so one by one we discuss so first is a bull nose step so here bull nose step like uh, in a last lecture we discuss the bull nose uh, brick work so here same here bull nose at the corner of the step is uh, in the form of the round shape and it is generally provided at the bottom of the flight and uh, projecting in front of the new uh, navel post it's the end uh, ne near the navel from the uh, quadrant of the circle so here generally provide at the end and uh, in a one side circular uh, face is provided so bullno step is generally uh, we seen in a residential commercial and industrial building now next type of the step is a round end step so round end step is a similar to bull nose step so expect that it has a semicircular end which project out from the stringer so here generally uh, we seen the navel post is fixed on the round end step and uh, round end step is only single step provided in a starting of the steps now next is a filler so filler is a ordinary step of a uniform width at and a rectangular shape in a plane and round end step is provided at the started so filler is a normal simple step is provided now next type of the step is a commode step so a commode step has a curved tread and rise is known as a commode step so here cow shape is provided in a tread and a rise now next is a dancing step or a balancing step so dancing step are the vendor which do not radiate it from the common center so it is generally provide to change the direction of the step and uh, in a dancing step all the step are not in the same size in a corner side so uh, size of the step is change and uh, here one of the advantage is that all the uh, all the steps are in the same height but uh, direction is uh, we easily change the direction without any providing the flight uh, pro, uh, sorry providing any landing now next is a splayed step so this type of the step has a one and or both the end are splayed in a plane so here in a uh, splayed step is generally provided in a main entrance and in a residential building inside of the building splayed step is provided in a starting of the step means in a first step splayed uh, step is provided in a split step one corner is cut at is uh, at the 45 degree angle and uh, if we provide a split step in a st uh, starting of the building so look like in a figure number one or a photo number one we seen the exactly this split step is provided in a main entrance 
so from the main entrance from three side uh, we easily access uh, the step now next type of the step is a winder so winder is a uh, winder are a, uh, tapering step such as those uh, which uh, radiated from the point usually situated at the center of a naval post so see this figure so in this figure at the corner side winder step is provided so from the center in a single center uh, winder step is fixed and uh, this uh, winder step is generally change the direction without any landing so here winder step is the uh, size is depend on a uh, area which is given to uh, constructor steps and uh, also the requirement of the number of step and uh, height of the building now next is a classification of the step uh, stair so here generally classified of the stair in a three part first is a straight flight stair second is a turning stair uh, third one is a geological continuous stair so straight uh, flight stair generally used in a residential building and commercial building Uh, then after turning stair is a quarter turn stair half turn stair uh, half turn uh, half turn stair is divided into two part dog leg stair and uh, open well stair and uh, three quarter stair is a third part of the turning stair and uh, geological stair or continuous stair is uh, divided into three part circular stair spiral stair and uh, helical stair so here stair stair is generally used in a residential building turning stair is provided at which area given for the construction of the stair is a less so turning stair is provided and also if the height of the stair uh, sorry height of the building or a floor is uh, much more so turning stair is provided and a geological stair or a continuous stair is provided at which the area of the uh, construction of the stair is uh, given less and height of the uh, two floor is a uh, less so we uh, provided continuous or geological stair so let's we start a new uh, point is a classification of the stair so first is a straight fly stair so type of stair are running continuously throughout the entire length in a one direction only is known as a straight flight stair so this type of the stair is uh, used uh, for a small houses where the long but narrow space is available to accommodate a single flight of stair so in a generally this type of the stair is provided in a generally residential building only and uh, in a straight fly stair no any landing is provided between the uh, steps so here in a continuous rise and stair is provided or continuous step is provided from the starting to end and uh, this type of this uh, stair is uh, straight and uh, narrow space is available so this type of the step is constructed so see this figure so in this figure we continuously uh, step is provided now in a, a second type of the straight uh, stair is a straight stair with landing so after some of the step we landing is provided see the figure number 2 so in a figure number 2 landing is provided after six step and the landing is provided and then after another step is uh, prepared so see this uh, figure so in this figure uh, we uh, prepare a land uh, straight stair with a landing 